by. Let's fix this rope, girl. Because I feel like my boobies are falling out on camera. And this is not only fans, girl. Okay, this is YouTube. This is YouTube, honey. What's up, gang? Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Janina, here. And of course, you are watching Pretty Girl Gang TV, where we do nothing but conduct pretty girl business. I can't. In today's video, I just thought we could do some skincare together. If you guys watched my last video, okay, I did unbox the Trend Mood times Ola Hendrickson takeover box and I got a lot of good products from Ola Hendrickson in there girl and I thought I'd come on here and just give you guys a little cute skincare routine and just come on here and do like some self-care stuff I love skincare it just really relaxes me and in these crazy times girl with the Rona and all that I just feel like I need to decompress and relax I got my little tea here girl okay so if you guys just want to see a cute little skincare routine with my new products and just chit chat with me, girl, and just decompress, and just self-care with me, keep on watching. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to wipe down my face with some micellar cleansing water, girl. And this is the rose water one. Have you guys seen this? Like, normally I use the regular micellar water from Garnier Fructis, but I saw this one at Target and I was like, girl, I have to try this. So it just has like added rose water in it. So I'm just going to wipe down my face with a little um, cotton pad here because as you can see, my face is just kind of oily and just get some of that excess dirt and impurities off, even though like, God forbid, I haven't been anywhere this whole week. Like I've literally just been on my couch, girl. I did go to the store today, but still gotta wipe your face and just kind of prep it. So I'm just gonna wipe my face off. The good thing about this micellar water that I like a lot is that you don't have to just use it for makeup remover. You can also just use it to cleanse your face. It's really gentle and I really love this rose water one. Like the smell is just so good. And while we do that, let's talk, girl. Like how have you guys been holding up when it comes to this whole coronavirus thing? Like I, I'm not gonna lie, like I am high key nervous and I know I shouldn't be like as a nurse, I'm on the front line. If you guys don't know, I'm a nurse and I do work for a big hospital and I am obligated to like be on the front line, you know, and take care of people. Um, right now I took some time off because I just feel like I'm having this like high key anxiety and I'm not gonna say that I'm a sufferer from anxiety. Like I don't suffer from it like frequently, but I have had anxiety before in the past, especially when I was like in my younger days, in my early twenties when I was going to nursing school and I was a single mother and money was tight and just all kind of things, right? So I do know how it feels. So when I started getting this, anxiety i instantly knew i was like girl okay i'm getting anxiety and i need to just slow down and i just been kind of like utilizing self-care and just trying to calm myself down like see the thing about me is i've always been a pretty strong-minded person and i'm able to just kind of sit myself down and say okay you know what girl relax you're tripping okay there's nothing wrong you need to just calm down do some self-care just relax like i've always been very strong-minded and able to kind of snap myself out of that but with this whole Rona situation, it's just really hard. That's what I've been dealing with lately. I've just been dealing with anxiety over this whole situation. I've had to remove myself from like social media. If you guys follow me on any of my social media, you know I've been posting um, infrequently. Normally I post every day, but I started doing like every two days or every three days because I, I'm just tired of seeing all the publications and all the misinformation and all like the other things just coming out about it it's just very unsettling and like worrisome for me girls so after i just cleanse my face with my garnier fruities micellular rose water i'm gonna go in with some oranges and lemon so these are my little orange and lemon slices i went on a cruise to bahamas like two years ago and i actually did one of those really bougie expensive facials on the cruise ship and they just went straight in with oranges and lemons on my face like literally rubbed it on my face and as you guys know oranges have natural like vitamin c and like things that can combat free radicals so it just makes me feel very bougie so i just go straight in my face with some oranges next i go in straight with the lemon on my face okay and you guys know that lemon juice is good for like 
brightening skin. It's also like a natural um, resurfacer, like a skin resurfacer. And it also helps with dark spots and hyperpigmentation. Next, we're gonna wash our face, but I'm gonna have me some tea first, girl. I'm sipping some honey lemon ginseng tea, and I swear it just, it smells so good. And I feel like that's important when you're like decompressing and just de-stressing is like some tea or some coffee and just like some scented candles or something scented. Like my tea is scented because I feel like good scents also help you like decompress and stuff like that and just, just get you right, girl. Tea just be getting me right when I'm doing my skincare, okay? I'm going to wash my face with the Ola Henriksen Truth Juice Face Wash here. And I do use a Clarisonic face scrubber. If you guys don't have a facial scrubber, like I recommend getting one. It totally changed the game for me with washing my face. And you can also use it as like a um, exfoliator as well. go in now with this little heart-shaped terry cloth sponge I got and isn't this so cute girl it's like pink it's so cute like I'm just gonna use this to just kind of wipe the soap off of my face and that's how I just kind of rinse my face off with this cute little cloth I will link this down in the description box below because it's very cheap I actually got this on wish and I did find some on AliExpress as well so they're very cheap okay and they work very well and it's also like reusable you know like i like reusable things i try not to buy a lot of things that you know are disposable that you can throw away because for the planet and i like this because it's really super soft as well and because you know like your skin is very delicate on your face versus your body so you want to use something soft for your face and also it's reusable so you can throw it like in the washer and then throw it in the dryer and there you go girl Woo, that feels so good now i'm gonna steam my face girl this is like my favorite part of just doing my whole skincare routine if you guys don't have a facial steamer this is how mine looks here i don't know if you can see it it's like a little facial steamer if you guys don't have a facial steamer go ahead and get you a facial steamer okay like this definitely changed my life and it's definitely something that you should invest in. Um, I like steaming my face because, you know, facial steaming can like open up your pores and it just preps your skin for all of your serums and all of your masks and things that you're gonna put on your face. So I'm gonna steam while I put on a mask and I'm actually going to use the Cold Plunge Pore Mask from Ola Hendrickson, of course. I'm really, really interested in trying this mask, y'all. It's supposed to be specifically for pores and oily combination skin, which I am. Well, I'm not oily combination. I'm like oily, but it's supposed to just purify your pores and everything. So let's try that out. And this is how it looks, it's green and it has like a minty smell. So anyway, what was I talking about? Oh yeah, Miss Rona girl. So Miss Rona has got me and my anxiety like on high alert girl okay so yeah y'all i've been just really worried about this whole coronavirus thing and because y'all let me tell you like i'm out here by myself okay like you guys know that i'm originally from california and i moved to another state i live in virginia now and i've only been living here for about two years now i'll say two years maybe a year and a half but i'll say two years and I don't really know anybody. I don't have any family here. All of my family is on the West Coast. So I feel like if something were to happen to me, like if I were really to get sick and, you know, something were to happen to me, what would happen to my daughter? And I do have like two people that I can definitely call, like, you know, my actual friends, like people that I actually trust and I can talk to, but I don't really have anybody out here. So for me, it's just very scary. And I've just been... You know very worried about that girl so that thought alone has just been like sending me you guys it's just been like you know creating this fear inside of me and i just need to like relax and i just need to like you know get it together honey i just need to get it together my steamer is running out of water as you can see it's getting like less and less so i'm just gonna turn her off and 
I will tell you, I'm going to let the mask dry, but I will tell you the mask is very cooling. I mean, it says cool plunge, so it's very cooling. It smells like mint and it's very light. I'm just going to sit here and I'm going to let it dry. The directions say to let the mask sit for 15 minutes. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to let it sit for 15 minutes and I'm going to sit my tea with y'all, okay? The mask feels dry already. So yeah, she's dry. And my face feels really good. It's kind of tight, but it's cooling. So cooling will kind of like, I feel like, make your skin tighter, which is a good thing if you have large pores. So that's what this mask is for. It's for like oily skin and pores. So I'm just gonna take my little facial part here and we're just gonna gently wipe off the mask. And it feels really good coming off of my face. It feels like my face is just like, chilled out so i feel like this would be a good mask for like the summertime when it's like really hot because you know how sometimes you put your mask in the refrigerator do you guys do that like when i do um sheet masks i put them in the refrigerator so they can be really cold and oh uh, that feels so good on like hot days so i feel like this mask will work really good on hot days as well Sheesh, let me tell y'all, that mask got me right. My face really does feel like tightened, but not in a bad way. It just feels really good, and it's like, it feels very cool. Like, my face is cold, and like I said, this will be really good on, like, those hot summer days, you know, like this mask. But this, I really like that mask. That mask got me right, girl. Next, I'm going to go in with the Ola Henriksen toner here, and this is the glow oh dark spot toner and i like to use toners before i put like my serum and moisturizer on because it just preps your skin and gets it ready for anything that you're going to layer on it and plus this is a dark spot one so i need all the help i can get with this hyperpigmentation on my face so we'll try this toner out and ooh, it smells like all the other ola henriksen products it smells like um orange like, I feel like all the Ola Henderson products, except for that Cool Plunge mask, has like that orange scent and I just love it. It just smells so divine and so good. So now we got the toner out the way, girl. I'm going to go in with the serum. I'm gonna do the Banana Bright Vitamin C Serum. And this is actually the new product from Ola Henriksen. And I just wanna read a little bit off the card what it says. It just says it's 20% acid blend, 15% vitamin C and PHAs. Hyaluronic acid, banana powder inspired pigments. Okay, so it says the benefits is to target all major signs of aging, dullness, fine lines, wrinkles, dark spots, and uneven texture, girl. And we have all of that over here. So I cannot wait to continuously use this and report how this is gonna be. But right now we're gonna use it. So let me use it. And speaking of like enzyme powders, do you guys follow the brand Good Molecules? Okay, so Good Molecules, I don't have anything with Good Molecules, but I have been kind of following the brand and they just launched a pineapple enzyme powder. Okay, so a little story time. In my early 20s, I had really bad acne. Like my acne and hyperpigmentation is like bad right now, but in my early 20s, it was really, really bad and it was everywhere. So I used to get these enzyme peels and I am really interested in that product. I'll probably put it on the screen so you guys can know what I'm talking about. So it's basically a powder, an enzyme powder, a pineapple enzyme powder, and you mix it with water and use it as like a enzyme peel on your face. And I'm just gonna put some of this serum on my neck. I have been really trying to up my skincare game lately. So more and more, you guys are gonna see me like purchase more and more skincare stuff. And I'll probably end up doing like a skincare haul of just like a mixture of skincare stuff. Cause I have a whole list of new things that I have been finding on Sephora and like just other people's recommendations and just trend mood. I mean, everything that I've been seeing all this new skincare stuff. I'm gonna start purchasing one by one. So if you guys wanna see a video like that, just let me know in the comment section down below. So I just finished putting on the serum and it's very light, it smells so good. I did put some on my neck because like I said, I'm trying to do that whole thing where 
they said you know whatever you do to your face you do to your neck it's very light it smells really good and my skin is overall feeling so good right now the next thing i do is i like to go in with the moisturizer after i go in with like a serum and i'm gonna go in with the ola henriksen sea rush brightening double cream i do have the sea rush gel water cream moisturizer and i like that one a little better because i feel like it's lighter this one is a little on the heavy side and i'm not really a heavy moisturizer cream person because i have oily skin but i'm not going anywhere i'm just gonna be in the house today you know quarantine and chilling so we can use this one the last thing i do after all of my skincare routine is complete is my eye cream my eye cream is always my last thing and i'm gonna go in with the banana bright eye cream here and this is just my little um value set version my little mini version i do have the large one that i got from um the trend nude box but like i said this stuff you just need like a tiny bit and i take my ring finger and i'll just spread it along like this and i also take it to the corner here and then up my eye as well you don't need a whole lot of this stuff this stuff lasts a long time so if you were to even invest in the mini version, you will have this for a while. And I use eye cream every single night and every single day. So I still have this and I purchased this and I believe in like November or December. And it's already March and it's not even dented yet. Okay guys, so that's my little cute skincare routine using all of the Ola Henriksen products you guys know i already love ola henriksen like i'm already a complete fan of their skincare products i am so glad that i ended up getting all the rest of the other products including the newest product which is their vitamin c serum my face and my skin feels so clean it just feels so good it smells good i have been decompressed i have been de-stressed girl i'm ready to go to bed thank you guys so much for watching this routine everything will be linked down in the description box below if you guys like this video comment down below subscribe to my channel give me a thumbs up girl okay and i will talk to you guys in my next video bye bye